Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for the last 12, 18 months or so, eyelash extensions have had a huge increase in popularity for a number of very good reasons. Today's video is gonna be all about my eyelash extensions, why I get them and how I get them. For me, I'm big on supporting mums and fellow women in business and I much prefer to visit like a home-based salon as opposed to a larger salon franchise where I don't know, the quality of care doesn't always seem to stack up and the prices are usually inflated to cover the cost of salon rent, meaning that you're paying higher prices for a lower quality service. Having said this, it's important to do your research before visiting any salon. You need to make sure that you're checking for examples of their previous work on their Facebook, Instagram accounts, and even on their website if they have one. You wanna make sure that you're also checking the comments and reviews on their social media accounts to make sure that everybody has had a positive experience with that particular technician and nobody's had any things like eyelid infections or anything nasty like that because believe it or not eyelid infections can actually lead to all of your natural lashes falling out and nobody wants that. Lucky for me my lash expert Jess's Facebook and Instagram pages were full of lovely comments and reviews from her customers and beautiful examples of her work that I actually held off on getting eyelash extensions for about six months while she was on maternity leave because I wanted somebody that I could trust and whose work that I was really familiar with and had really good comments and really good feedback basically. This week Jess was lovely enough to let me come into her home based salon and film the process and talk a little bit with you guys about how it's done because I know there's a lot of misinformation going around at the moment. There's a lot of people trying the at home kits and I thought it'd be fun to do a video on what things to look out for when you're considering getting eyelash extensions because it can be a real hit or a miss sometimes and I think you guys are going to be really impressed with the before and after results. And before I dive in I just want to give a quick disclaimer that I'm not being paid to do this video at all. I just really love the work that Jess does and I thought it would make for a very fun video and I think you guys are going to like it too so let's jump straight into it. One of the things I love about Jess's home studio is how beautifully presented it is. She and her husband really went that extra mile to create a clean professional space where ladies could feel relaxed and at home when they visit. Since I started getting Jess to do my eyelash extensions, I like to go back in every two to three weeks to have them filled. This option is usually cheaper than having a full set applied and means that you don't have to go a week or two with uneven lashes while you're waiting for them to all fall out or worse, risk damaging your natural lashes by trying to remove them yourself. As you can see, I'm probably at a week four stage of lash fallout here, and I've done this on purpose to give you guys the best before and after view as possible. But you can see here that you really wanna to stick to those two to three week refills to ensure that your lashes are looking full and even. This also depends on the type of lashes you have as well. Lash extensions are designed to fall out with your natural lash hair. So if you're like me and lose lashes a little bit more frequently, then you'll need to get fills a little more frequently. There are many different types of lashes and application techniques that a lash tech can use. I get a combination of 3D and 4D lashes to give a really full brightening look because who doesn't need a little help looking alive and awake on those days? The difference between a 3D and 4D lash compared to a classic lash is that they're made up of three to four, hence the names 3D and 4D hairs, joined together in a fan shape to give that full volume look. If you're looking for something a little more understated, a classic lash is made up of single hairs which are then glued to the base of your natural lash in the same way a 3D or 4D lash would, which gives you just a little bit more volume and increases your overall lash length. To begin the process, Jess starts by cleaning off any excess product or oils from the lashes to ensure that each lash is applied to a clean, natural lash. This works to ensure your lashes last longer and prevents any infections. She then carefully tapes soft gel pads over the bottom lashes to keep any glues away from the bottom lash. Lashes, help keep any fumes from irritating the eyes and give a nice cooling effect while you're having your treatment done. Next is the fun part. Jess takes a strip of lashes and applies them to her hands so she can work closely and quickly. She then removes each individual lash fan, whether this is 3D or 4D, dips them in a small amount of lash glue and then carefully isolates a right lash for each extension to be applied to. This is a bit of an exact science you guys. Being pretty knowledgeable about lash cycles, Jess is able to determine the strongest and most ideal lash to apply each extension to. If a lash is almost due to fall out or not strong enough to cope with the weight of an extension, applying one will only result in immediate fallout. Another reason why you should research your lash techs and definitely not get sucked into trying those DIY kits. Getting an entirely new set of lashes should take about an hour and a half, while fills often only take about half an hour. For me, this gives me a chance to take a nice little nana nap or have a chat with Jess about everything mum. 
Unfortunately, the time seems to pass too quickly. Once Jess is done, she'll check that I'm happy with the work and provides me with proper information on lash care. She even has her own cleansing shampoo, which is formulated specifically for lash extension after care. Although it's imperative that I do not wet my lashes for 24 hours after application to allow the glue to fully set. So I always get my lashes applied at night after I've had my shower. While I don't feel like my lashes are any heavier from the extensions, it really is quite a natural feeling. It took a little bit of getting used to changing the way I sleep. As someone who lives for sleep, on my face. I've had to alter the way I do this so I'm not causing any stress on my eyelashes. This is just a way to ensure that they last longer and it's totally worth it. From here, Umpkeep is pretty simple. It really is just a matter of giving them a little brush each day with the little spoolie that Jess provides me with at the end of each appointment and using the brush to dab on some of the cleansing shampoo in a gentle downward motion before splashing on a little water when you take your nightly shower. This gets rid of any excess makeup and oils which can A, cause deterioration in the glue and lead to a faster fallout and B, lead to infection. This is the same reason why you should be removing makeup every night regardless of whether or not you have lash extensions. Personally, I like to stay clear of applying mascara to my lashes entirely these days. And to be honest, I really don't think you need it. I've been so happy with the look and feel of my lashes since I began having them applied a few months back. And I'll definitely continue to get them to avoid having to wear false eyelashes in my videos every week. That pretty much sums up my experience with getting eyelash extensions so far. If you live in this area, then I'm going to put the links to Jess's Facebook, Instagram and website down below. You should definitely go and check out her work and go and see her if you're interested in getting eyelash extensions. And even if you don't live in the area and you're still considering getting them, then go and check our socials out anyway to give you a good idea of what to look for when you are looking for a good lash technician. And of course, let her know that I sent you. If you're someone who regularly gets lash extensions or you've had them in the past, let me know your experiences below. Were you happy with the results? Would you continue to get them? Do you really think that they're worth it or do you live for them like I do? I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you don't, rest assured I've got a lot of more chilled out, chit chatty style videos in the works now that I am going to be posting every Sunday and every Wednesday. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those. And other than that, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.